Hello friends, welcome back to e-commerce project in Laravel 10. Last video we were discussed order invoice mail. So in this video we can work like an admin side status. Suppose you are changing the status, so we need to send an email for the user. So user know what status means what order status like a completed, pending, in progress, like delivered and cancel. Like five status we can work. I already write, I can show you. So we have work like a five status wise. Like first is a like a pending, whatever order place. So the status is a pending. Second status is a like a in progress. So user can means admin can change like a in progress. After that is a delivered. So once delivered, so we can do is a delivered. Last one is like completed, and fourth one we can do it like cancelled. Means like a right now is a fifth status there. So first of all we need to add this status inside database. So we have already create one column like a status. So we think our mind wise like a zero means pending, one means the in progress, two means deliver, and three means completed, and four means cancel. So let's start. Before we can start like a status work, so you are new in the channel or in this series, so please subscribe and please press the bell icon. So whatever content uploading, so you always get the notification and you can start immediately new thing learning. Okay. So let's start now. So first of all, we can open our website. I already opened, and I have another request. Do you want to buy any script? Just go to our official website errorsolutioncode.com and you can buy it here. And also do you want to develop any as a freelancer work? Just contact Telegram, WhatsApp and Skype. Okay. So let's start. So here is a status. So we need to provide is a here is a drop down. So you are changed the drop down status and we can call the Ajax and Ajax which we can update and also we need to send emails after we can show the alerts. So step by step I will explain how we can do it. So first I will open the my table inside database. So just open the local host slash PHP admin. Here is the e-commerce.com and inside I can go to orders DB. So orders DB is inside I can go to structures. So structures inside you can see new column name like status we have already did. Just change and I will add for this all thing inside description like a comment. So we know what we have used here. Just add and after you can click on the save. So future anybody can developing so you know okay this is like data zero means pending like you can see it here okay. So I don't know to explain more. So let's start now. So right now all data there is a pending so we can show here pending. Let's go back again. Resources views inside uh, admin and admin inside so you can see like order order inside you can see list dot blade dot php. Just Let's make some minimize zoom out so you can see it better way. Here you can see it like a status. So here I can make like a select box. Select select class from control. And here I can make like options value zero means pending. Let's copy one by one. First I can make like one, two, three and four now I will change here name so I already write some name here so two one means the in progress so I can change here in progress delivers delivers completed so completed and last one we can make it like a cancelled so we can use here cancel and also I can provide like some width so we know okay this width against wind to show like a 200 Let's see how it looks show. Suppose do you want to change? So we can change it. Okay. Let's go back again. Refresh the page. So here you can see it like a status column. I think is correct. So let's make 150. Because this is the very big. So we can try like 150. Okay. This is the correct 150. Okay. So first of all, we need to make like whatever database inside status there. We need to show by default. So let's make a dollar value status is equal to is equal to 0 means is a selected so let's make one after we can make it like a copy paste work just you can make selected second one we can make like one two three four like this here I can make four here I make two and one okay so whatever data is inside there automatic select this is the reason I have made now we need to create a new class like a change status 
and here also I need to pass like one ID so we need to pass like a ID is a order ID this is the ID and also we need to add a new column here because last video you can check like order number so we need to show also order number here so just you can create a new column order number and also you can add here after ID order number because old order not found but new order always found the order number this reason I have add okay let's save these files and just go back again refresh the page so you can see it order number also here you can see scrolling bottom so you can see it order number okay so showing now I will change the data so we need to call the Ajax you can see it here I already added like class name also I have added like ID so which ID again I need to update the status this is an I will use here ID let's go down and I can write a scripting here so script here I can make like a delegate first I can use dollars body delegate because always need to call I don't want to take risk this is an I'm always use a delegate and after I can make like change here I can put like a functions Okay, and also we can get here like a value whatever you select like dollar this dot well and also we need to get the ID of the order ID so dollar this attributes ID and also we can provide like here name of the ID so order ID okay so here we are getting like a one is the whatever you select this status value and also we are get like a attribute inside ID means order ID now here we need to call the Ajax so we already did in our project like call Ajax inside a product detail page so just go to product instead go to detail page and just scroll down so anywhere we have did no no we can go to list list inside we have did like a Ajax just scroll down anywhere and you can find out like a call the Ajax we can copy and we can use it so let's go scroll down okay here you can see it like a Ajax call so I just copy all thing and I can paste here okay we don't want to need errors so just remove and we need a success message but we don't need this success message just remove here our data different way works so we can use directly the first our data is a value means is a status let's change here like value to status so status is equal to status next one we can pass like a order id so simple you can pass like order id and everything is good now now we need to change our url so our url we can change here and also we need to pass here token like a uh, tokens here is any place passing so we can use it these tokens otherwise we can change to get method i don't want to take risk let's change to get method because we don't want to pass like token just you can use get method to changing the status now here you can copy order status admin slash order status ok just remove the as so we need to create a url inside a routes just go to routes and just go to web.php just scroll down here is there is the admin orders here there just copy more routes and put here and change here and here we need to create a new function like a order status inside a order controller so app http controller inside you can see it like a admin inside you can see it order control just you can create new function order status so request dollar request and i can make here dd all okay let's go back again and we can check it is working not working just go back again refresh the page and I already open my spec elements so we can check here work not working. so if I change the in progress so it's working very well you can see it here we are getting the data like status and order ID so here is order ID 10 numbers here status is equal to 1 so but I can choose delivers so you can see it like a status 2 order ID 2 so but I can change here like it delivers so also you can see order ID 9 and that is equal to true means 2 so it's working very well we have no issue let's update inside database so simple just you can use directly like this dollar 
get orders whatever variable name do you want to use you can use i just use like get order here we can pass like request order id and uh, here i can update the status status is equal to dollar request status after i can save now here i can make like a json message success it is successfully updated whatever we message do you want to write you can write your side okay i just write like a simple message successfully updated here i can make echo json encode and dollar json okay now we need to show this message inside a alerts so just go to list.blade.php and here you can make like a alert data dot message okay because of you received a here so we have did like update the status here and after we send back to data successfully updated like this message let's try it's working not working let's close this one let's close this one so don't, no need to confusions okay let's refresh and we can check it's working not working i just go back again refresh the page and i can check like in progress so you can see it has successfully updated and here you can see it like a response back you see okay is a json response refresh the page so you can see in progress showing automatically so i can check here delivers so also you can refresh the page so also always showing the delivers okay so status update work is done inside database now we need to send a user email suppose you are update the status so also we need to send an email to users so let's open my mail trip again and i can show you how to send emails okay so i already log in and i just go inside i clear this ones and here we can find out new emails so first we need to create a new file for the order emails status order mail status like this we need to create a file last video you can see so we have create order invoice mail now in this video we can create new file like a order status mail what's the order status status mail dot php and you can copy like a uh, order invoice mail files and you can paste here and after you can change the class name okay let's save here next you can change like orders we don't want to change because same variable we need to use and here you can change like order status so just create a new files inside the uh, emails go to resources inside go to emails inside we need to create a new file like a order status.blade.php okay once create this files go to like order invoice and you can copy all thing and you can put here and next you can go to back to order status mail here you can change like invoice to status order status like a subjects okay let's go back again and copy this name and we can declare inside a order controller so here you can use like use first mail sorry not nail mail after you can do it like use app slash mail slash this file name order status mail now we need to declare here order status mail file let's go to back inside payment controller we can copy for this code so we can do it very quick so here you can see like order email order invoice mail just copy and you can put it here and after you change the name okay so it's very simple let's try to change it's working not working otherwise everything set up there here is a get order we have pass here is a whatever there inside database email this email we have shot here and after go to order status mails inside you can see it like a data declare here whatever parameter you are get and e-commerce order status and also you can see it like a uh, order status like this and uh, files created and at this file against we have write some scripting but this scripting we can change first we need to check it is working not working after we can remove some parts otherwise we don't want to remove just we can check like your order status and we can leave it other detail like order details so people know okay this is my order details so we can change here only your order status let's change now so i can show you professional ways just you can make like order status status 
and let's make a spelling perfect and we can make it here like a condition if dollar order means order status is equal to is equal to 1 0 so means going to here else if status is equal to is equal to 1 so going to here same thing you can copy paste everywhere like 2 or 3 like here 1 second 2 here is a 3 and here is a 4 next one we can make like a and if so if inside we can try like a pending you know me know just you can put it pending next one is a in progress so put here in progress and we can change the words like a in progress so look like a professional last one delivers so we can put it as a delivers next completed and after we can put like a cancelled okay and here we need to make a like a b means a bold so just you can put like a bold sign means a b tag you can use here let's change the status and we can try it's working not working okay let's go back again first i can refresh the page and here also i can change the spelling like in progress look like a professional this is the reasons otherwise no any reasons here you can change in progress okay save these files just go back again refresh the page let's change here like a completed and he is sending the emails you can see it here so because the mail trip this isn't taking time suppose your your other configuration like a google's anyone you are whatever hosting you are using this configuration is there so it's not taking time is send immediately let's go to mail traps here you can see it, new mail e-commerce order status and also you can see it like a name and here you can see order status completed and after your order details you can see it here so it's working very well let's go to back again and we can check like a, another one like a delivers okay and sending the emails and uh, taking a few seconds more so you see status will be updated otherwise change whatever you want to like you can like it and here you can see delivers so means order status working very well with sending the emails i hope you are clear and also whatever code write inside a place order this time we have sent order invoice this is the code already there so people know okay this is the, our order details and here is a like our status okay you can change the color whatever color do you want to like deliver you can make like a different color computer also different color you can do it your end just i need to clear the goal in this project so it's a very simple way and i already clear the goal how we can send emails and how we can change the status i hope you have a clear and next video we can short out like a different way like home page we need to make dynamic because home page we have not made start dynamic so we can start in next video like a dynamic for all thing like a future category how to show like future product future categories like this the categories need to show is the futures so here you can make like future electronic fashion and home kitchen do you want to show so you can show it here and after this category was we need to show the products and shop by category also we can do it like this and after recent arrival so last product which one you use we also need to show here I can show you step by step everything and here you can click on the load more products so we need to redirect like another pages and you can see it also we can do it blocks we can short out in next video step by step this project coming soon is done I think need like 20 videos more after it's done and also we need to show like his login so we need to log out here we need to show his name like whatever user login like his name to show also I can show you step by step so don't worry about that and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching error solutions